welcome to my channel and yes I'm just relaxing y'all I should have kept on my clothes to do this video but y'all know how I do it I just get comfortable I do have on clothes but you know I'm in my loungewear and I'm gonna share with y'all my September and October favorites I know sometimes I forget about this just because I'm not creating videos and stuff like that um right now basically but i like to come in here sometimes for all of you that do miss me over here and show you or share with you some of my um products uh sometimes it's hauls sometimes it's product favorites and that's what this is product favorites for september and october now i didn't grab every single thing because if i grab every single thing this will be a an extremely long video but um i did grab the ones that i feel like you know really sharing with you and so let's begin because this is this might be a long video but i'm gonna try to go as fast as i can now today is a natural day i did go out today and had to do a couple things here in town something very important then i had to do a few more things so this is natural makeup okay if you do not notice it this is all natural well, not all natural, but it's natural makeup. So, we'll get to the makeup here in a minute. But let's start with the brushes so I can put them back in my drawer and keep them clean. Now, I got this three-piece brush set. This is like an eyeliner, eyebrow type of brush set. And, y'all, it's one of my favorites. It is by the brand T-E-O-Y-A-L-L. T E O T I O U. I don't know, y'all. I don't know how to pronounce that, but there it is. This is my favorite product. I love these brushes. I use this one here for my brows, okay? And then I use this one for eyeliner when I want to get real close to my lash line. And then this one is good for when you want to um, create a wing like what I got going on right now so this is this has completed a lot of what I need pertaining to my brows and my um liner eyeliner so love this and I love the design once again every one of these brushes are made for something very good okay these two are eyeliners but like i said this one is for when you want to do a dramatic or simple um wing and this one is just for regular eyeliner or to get close to the lash line and this one is for your your brows okay to get them very neat and filled in very good and yeah you guys love this brow brush set okay i love that okay you can get that at amazon okay on amazon all right so the next thing i guess we'll keep going i'm just grabbing things not in any order i got these um eyeshadow pencils this is by the brand b a o i think it's l i s h i and this is the Two Colors Eyeshadow Sticks. It's by this brand right here. Okay. So, this one here, you got the green eyeshadow. And it's very creamy. But, it's very beautiful. Today, I use this color here. It's like a, almost like a greenish, sort of olive-like tone brown. And I used that on my eyes and then I topped it with an eyeshadow topper, which I'm going to talk about here in a minute. But anyways, I like this because they are very creamy. Uh, you know how some eyeshadow sticks or whatnot, they dry out really quick. By the time you open them up and use them, they're dried out. But I have four different eyeshadows that's quick and easy. This is my quick and easy eyeshadows right here. When I have somewhere to go, and uh, it's very important, and I need to hurry up and just put on something and get going, 
I love eyeshadow sticks. Anything that's fast, even the cream eyeshadows, which I'm going to talk about here in a second. But these make everything simple. You can simply just add one of these colors on and put a little mascara on and you're done. It's just so quick, fast, and easy. And the thing I like about this is that it doesn't dry out. So it's very moisturizing. And I appreciate that because I've got some more over here that kind of dried out on me. I don't know why, but they did so they're they're already matte but these are like more like um they're not shimmer but they're like a what semi-matte or what's the other word they just have a shine to them okay so they're not matte but i like them and they're quick fast and easy and i always have eyeshadow pencils around i always have eyeshadow um sticks I love and so yeah it makes everything quick fast now there's one more uh, pencil that I want to get or two more and they're not the colors that I usually wear but because I like these I will purchase those other two uh, shades or sticks um, very soon because I love these and so I'm I'm thinking I probably going to like the other two shades or sticks as well because you know these are pretty and they're quick and easy and fast and let me show you how beautiful it is this is what I have on today like see how moisturizing and shiny the color is like it has a shine to it really like it and here's the other shade on this side the green I think I've used the green already too see how shiny that is Look, okay, it has this beautiful shine I like that and yeah look forward to purchasing the other two items like that okay so the next ones oh my god these are already on top of the list these are like luxury okay um, for a very small amount of money okay um this is by the brand la mila i think that's the way you pronounce that anyways you've got two matte tones one is supposed to be like a contour shade on me i don't like it because it just doesn't go good with my skin tone but it looks amazing it's eyeshadow then there's a concealer shade which i will use for eyeshadow it's a little bit too light for me but these shimmer shades oh my goodness these are amazing eyeshadow toppers you can wear it alone too but i like to add these on top of my eyeshadow because it it gives the eyeshadow sort of like a duochrome type type of look just like right now i use this brown shade here from the eyeshadow stick and then i add it on this pearl like um shimmer on top of it and as you see it sort of looks brown but also has like this light blue kind of hue with a little glazy like topper as you can see it's like glaze on top of that eyeshadow stick color that turns it into a duochrome type of look when i turn a certain way you can see a blue type of tone then i turn another way it looks sort of silver so yeah i love these and then i have this one here that's in a, like a champagne bronzy champagne color this is also really good on top of eyeshadows it just changes the shade of your eyeshadow but it just adds a little more like a duochrome type of look and i love these these are like so good as eyeshadow toppers as i said and these are good just as eyeshadows if you just want a simple everyday eyeshadow on or you can put this on like i did one day put a shade on and then add one of these toppers on top of it oh my goodness it's beautiful so these are a favorite and these are a top favorite 
and I got a backup of these because, and now they're all sold out. I mean, they're unavailable and they don't even know when they're going to restock. I hope they restock because I like to get two more of these because um, they come in a four pack just like this and they're so inexpensive. I want to keep these around because this is the look that I'm liking these days. It's like an eyeshadow and then like a little bit of a shiny glaze on top of it. That's just what I like. So I hope they get these back in stock because I've been getting other like eyeshadow toppers or cream eyeshadows. But nothing can beat these. These are very, very good. And they're on the top of my list. Okay. So those are my favorites. Um, been using those every time I put on makeup. I use one of those shimmer tones. Okay. I just love it. All right. So, another thing that I've been liking, and this is not in any order, um, I got these two products right here. One from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this is the, um, what is it, Tinted Rose Oil Lip Balm. Uh, this changes colors. So, you got like this jelly type of lipstick. And then you put it on your lips. Like right now, I don't have anything. And then when you put it on, look at there. There's the lip color. See there? And I don't like to put a lot on because it'll get redder and redder. And y'all know how I don't like red lipstick. So, I'm just going to, like, rub that in. And I get this beautiful, natural, like, sort of like your lips, but better look with this. And then I take this LA Colors Lip Oil that I got from Dollar General. This is in the uh, shade or in the scent Berry. And it smells just like berries. And then I add this on and it provides a nice shine. This is just so beautiful. I think the combination is beautiful. And you don't have to be really neat. Like this is just something for me to throw on when I got somewhere to go. So my lips stay moisturized and my lips look very beautiful. Because it looks like my lips but better type of look. So I like the combination. It is my favorite. You can find this at Dollar Tree for a dollar and 25 cents and then this lip oil uh, is from LA Colors but you can get it at Dollar General and I think this is a dollar if I'm not mistaken so yeah you guys I love the combination and these are two of my favorite products while I'm on lipstick I might as well, might as well tell you about these because these are all the lipsticks that I've been using on a regular basis uh, this right here is the LA Colors Lip Plumpers. Um, I got these at Dollar General. They are so cute. There's two nude shades here. As you can see, one is more like a brown nude. This is like a beige nude. And then I've got a pink tone and i got a coral tone. Now, the thing about these is that they're really shiny. And they do have this warm plumping sensation on the lips that does plump the lips a little bit. And the thing I like about it is when you add on a liner and then you put these on, you do have a plump plumper lip and it looks amazing like it looks so cute and also um if you go very light with these they look very natural even though you can tell that you know you got liner on and all that but it's, it's like a soft look or you can go in with a little bit more product and you get a bolder look of course we all know that but i'm just saying some glosses are shimmer even if they're lip plumpers these are very very nice like i consider these very good quality from la colors y'all know la colors is a very good brand it's inexpensive but some products is like you know some products are good then some are better okay so you know some can be not so good so 
But majority of the time, they do have a lot of good products. And this is this happened to be one of the products that's really good that I just noticed. And I got all the shades that was available at Dollar General. So, yeah, you guys, love those lip plumpers. They are so good. Usually, I don't never buy lip plumpers because I don't like for my lips to be burning. I don't like that burning sensation, but that right there, it does have a warm sensation, but then it lightens up and then it's all good, okay? So, yeah. All right, so going on. All right, so my makeup, my natural makeup for every day has been and been for a while is the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF of 46. This provides a nice glow. Anyone and everyone can use this. I love it because it does provide a nice glow and it gives me that SPF of 46 that I like. So I put this on my face first before I go in with anything else. I've been using this now for a good Four months, I believe, or more. Yeah, I love this product. This is like the second or third bottle. Let's see. Yeah, this is my second bottle. One bottle of this goes about four months for me. And I use at least seven pumps at one time. So I make sure I cover my face or really apply the product on my face really well. And this does work. And then it gives this beautiful glow. If you want to, like, if you see my face and you're like, and I know you see it, and you're like, gosh, her skin is so glowy and dewy. Uh, well, this does help out. This does provide a glow. And the thing that I like to do is you can use this alone and add on just a little bit, say, bronzer or... Go ahead and put on some mascara, maybe a little eyeshadow, do your brows and whatnot. Or you can add a little bit of foundation on top of it or mix it in with this, okay? And then you can get more coverage, okay? If you want, like, if you don't want to be real, real natural, but you want to be natural, but you want a little bit of more coverage, then add a foundation. And the foundation I just happened to think about, and it was in my uh, makeup uh, bag over here, is this one. I love this makeup right here. This is the Maybelline, Perf what is it, Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. I still love this this makeup like i'm telling you i've tried other glow makeup and i just do not like it because it seemed to make me sweat or look sweaty but this one does it and i really like this because this is truly indeed very beautiful and it does provide a beautiful glow to the skin but it doesn't cover as like full coverage but it gives enough coverage it just give you that natural it just kind of amp your own natural skin okay it just gives it like this glow y'all know it's not y'all probably already know this foundation but y'all i recommend this i think it's soft and it's very nice for the skin you have why it says you know you know why it says four in one it has a primer concealer highlighter and a bb cream so you got almost everything that you need right there in one applicator but i've got three okay i have three bottles here i have three different shades one is my skin tone one is a little bit lighter if i want to use it for a concealer or if i want to mix it with my um foundation shade and then i have one that's a little bit bronzy for my bronzer so i like all three and i use all three and that's what i have on right now as you can see my skin looks very natural this is my natural makeup right here the dermatology universal tinted moisturizer spf of 46 and this maybelline instant age rewind 4 one 
protector glow makeup this is what i use and i love it because it looks so natural everyday makeup that's what this is everyday makeup and that's what i'm all about these days plus i'm all about being a little bit more natural these days instead of putting on so much makeup i told y'all the older you get the more you want to wear less makeup you may not believe that but i think y'all do like the older you get you just don't want all that makeup. And anyways, um, it's just like it looks beautiful to be natural, right? It looks very pretty to look just very natural, glowy, and have a dewy finish. I love this. Like this looks good. Like a lot of people have told me, said, Sheila, you know what? You know, you look amazing. Like, I've gotten some compliments, okay? And I think so, too. Like, less makeup, I feel like, looks better on me now that I am older, okay? Because, you know, but then there's days sometimes, y'all know I can get very dramatic with eyeshadows and stuff. Some days I do want to amp up my makeup. I want to make, I want things to look a little bit more bold. It, like, if I'm doing a fashion video or something of course i amp up my makeup but on a regular this is what it is and i still like do my brows and put on some eyeshadow put a little liner like just a wing there some mascara whatnot and yeah y'all see it it's natural like very natural looking i really love that and i can't help it it's just it's just what i'm into However, you know, everybody do what you want. I'm just telling y'all my favorites and what I like, okay? All right. So, two skincare products I'm going to talk about because I'm going to do another skincare video. I created a good a get ready with me video where I put on my natural makeup and I did it so quick like y'all would not believe how quick I can put on makeup just on a regular like when I'm not filming or actually creating a makeup look or whatnot um, is really really fast and really easy the way I put on all this makeup well it's not a lot but you know what I do put on from day to day is very simple as you can see um so I do have a video I've already taped like that and I was explaining because someone was asking me about skincare so I kind of did a little bit of explaining on what I do and what I think is good skincare but I'm going to create a skincare video um yeah, and talk a little bit more about skincare. Now, one thing that I've been using that is so amazing, I got a, the serum as well as the cream, is this Kala Pure Radiance Cream. It's purifying and nourishing, and this is a mineral water that helps to give a clear and glowing complexion. So that's one reason why my skin is glowy too. I'm using skincare that helps with that. And you know what? I'm getting the benefits of carbonated water with this product. And we'll talk about this in a skincare video because y'all, I was amazed at what carbonated water does for the skin. Okay, so these products by Kala Beauty here has carbonated water in it, and it is amazing what this product can do. But there's so many products that I do have, not a lot of products, but it's a few more products that I've used that really has helped out with balancing and evening my skin tone. So I am so when I put on my natural makeup, which I just showed y'all. I feel confident that my skin is even, okay? So I like how everything is right now. And so I don't use the products as much as I first started using it when I really, really needed it because it doesn't take a long time to use these products. They really work really quick and they're all natural ingredients. So we'll talk about that, but this is one of my favorites, y'all. I've been using for a while and i love it once again it has carbonated water in it if you have not heard of it i didn't hear i didn't even know nothing about 
carbonated water uh, skin care. You know, skin care that has carbonated water. It's like a soda. You know, soda is carbonated water, right? Well, y'all, that is a form of skin care now. People are starting or companies are starting to put that in there. And I noticed an instant change with my skin using this cream. And I like it. I love the way my skin feels. I feel like it has done a lot for my skin as well. As far as, you know, like the touch of my skin and also this glowiness. Even when I clean my skin, my skin just like, what what's the word? If, if you have dry skin um, and you need like your oil production to boost a little bit. I would say try something or a skincare product that has carbonated water in it. Because I noticed that my skin now produced a little bit more oil, which I've been noticing that, but now is it produced more oil than I could have ever imagined because I used to have dry skin. Um, so I'm just saying, but... Carbonated water for the skin is amazing, and I love this brand, Color Beauty, and I love this cream, and I do have a serum as well, but this is the one that I've been using as far as putting it on and then putting on makeup, and it does give my skin just this beautiful, nice, gorgeous glow. Um, and then you put a, like a bronzer on and you get this bronzy glow, which is so, so amazing. So I love that product. And then this product right here, I love. This is the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Setting Spray, y'all. This, I'm almost done with this. I do need to repurchase. Um, this does provide like a dewy finish as far as setting your makeup say if you put on a little bit too much powder or you just want a dewy look this will provide that a dewy look okay but it sets your makeup so um i love this but what i love about this the most is that it smells like the avon perfume and it was called timeless and my mom used to buy that perfume if any of you is around my age y'all know how popular avon was growing up okay so um my mom used to all the time like she bought that perfume all the time that'd be the only thing sometimes she would buy and this spray smells just like the avon perfume timeless my mom loved it and she loved the she loved the spray but we would get the cream too. You know how it would come in a bundle. So yeah, this smells just like it. Every time I spray it, I think about my mom. Okay. It just brings back happy moments. So I will repurchase this. Um I just love the smell of it because that smells just like timeless from that timeless perfume from uh that sold by a bun cosmetics this is the same smell and i just love it y'all that is a favorite of mine all right let's keep going so we got a few more products that's in my favorites and then we're gonna get to the fun thing which is fashion yes we got a few fashion fashion pieces y'all excuse me like i'm like <laughs> you can tell when you like I heard this from another person, a few people on YouTube. When you haven't created a video in a long time, and plus, if you're like me, like, a little swelling here going on, it's like, oh, huffing and puffing, you know, to create these videos. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the rest of my favorites for September and October. Some of them go further back than September. I've been using some of these products even before September. But I just thought I'd say September and October because I didn't create a video last month, but I'm creating it now in October. But, okay, so I have two brow products here that I really like. This one here, I just bought, and you know what? I really like it. This is the Glossy Fix Brow by revolution one side you have the lash side and one side you have the brows 
I like this. I think that it just makes my brow hair is really soft. So you got this side to put on the lashes, I guess to condition the lashes or whatnot. And then you can go in with, I guess, your mascara. But honestly, I have not used the lash side. I feel like it's something I would use for skincare. Just to condition my lashes and all. I love that idea of having something to put on to condition my lashes. And then on this side I have used, which is the brow side. I do like this. It doesn't like it doesn't get really still for anything. Like the brows don't get still. Um, but like I said, I think this is more like a conditioner, something very soft for the lashes. And then when you go in with the brow product of your choice, I feel like it just kind of holds on to the conditioner or whatnot, this product. So, yeah, it's just something very light and simple to use. Like I said, if you don't want to put on a brow product, like I might use this product by itself and just, you know, get my brows to look a little neat and everything. And I may not even put on brow product. You know, it's just something quick and fast to put on. So, yeah, I like this. I like the idea. And then this Absolute New York Brow Wax it has maximum hold, and it does. Uh, this is very, very good. Um, I like this, this brow wax because it doesn't make my brows crunchy, like to the touch. Like when I touch my brows, it's not like crunchy. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very soft, but yet when I go in with the brow color, it stays put. Like, yeah, it's, it's like my brows will stay like this all day long. So I love this product and it's one of my newest brow waxes. I like it, but I still say that the NK New York is the best because it really does get your brows to stick up and it just, it is crunchy like, like it's stiff, but it is so, so beautiful and it makes your brows look a little thicker, a little bit longer. This one does too, but not quite like the NK New York, uh, what is it called? brow fixer maximum hold brow fixer that is so good i just gotta repurchase um but this one will work when i don't want that crunchy like or stiff feeling on my brows so yeah anyways the next thing is the mascara this mascara came in a set that I got from Amazon and I love it. I use this every single day because it's one of those really, really thin ones and it grabs every brow, not brow, but every eyelash and it really coats your eyelashes very, very well and it shows the length of your lashes and also provides volume. So I really like that and I love this also to use on my bottom lashes. However, today I went really quick and that's okay. I did use it and I like it because I feel like I don't get mascara all over the place because y'all know how I am with mascara on my bottom lashes. <laughs> but it's okay, you know. But I have to say this right here is helping me to learn how to put mascara on my bottom lashes okay the top lashes is easy to do in my opinion but the bottom lashes if you have small bottom lashes i do my lashes on the bottom is small and so they're not too long is what i'm saying so it's very hard for me to not get mascara all on my skin and stuff so yeah, something like this is good to practice and everything because this small brush, you can just barely tap your lashes and look at there, you got mascara. Like it doesn't take, like it doesn't take a lot of, because this is so small, it doesn't like put so much product on your lashes. So it kind of, is helping me to learn how to put on mascara with bigger ones, I guess. And also, I just like this. Maybe this is the 
type of mascara I need to use on my uh, lashes on the bottom. Because look at that. Usually, my lashes on the bottom will be looking so thick, full of mascara. Y'all know. But do I create good looks? I think so. But, you know, it's good to have something where you put on and it looks natural and soft and not over done in a sense like mascara don't need to be too full on the lashes so this is really good this has helped me out a lot like i love that product okay love it it's one of my favorites all right so going on to a few more uh liners or whatnot some liners here um i just got these thick eyeliner pencils and i really really like them <clears throat> I like them because you can use these as a base for eyeshadows. They're the thick, chunky, like eyeliners. And I've used this as eyeshadow and added that uh, Lamila um, gloss on top of it. And it looks so pretty and natural. I used that the other day. And then this liner I have used actually right on my lash line, which I can use right now. However, I love this natural look. I really don't want to use it, but then I want y'all to see it. So, I get right into my waterline with this. And see here, it's just enough. I don't know if it's because the pencil is very thick and I'm just barely putting on enough product or what. But something about it, it just adds just enough that I need so as you can see it stays right on the waterline it just glides right there so it's not too much product and I'm just going back over and you see it's staying right there on the waterline and it's like one of those products that you don't have to say oh my gosh like I can't get my liner to stay in the waterline or I'm putting liner all the way down on my lashes well this is so thick that it just when you touch your uh, waterline to line your eye there it just stays in line right there you just go across like that and it doesn't get all over the lashes and I love that so these are good because once again you can Use these on the eyelid as a eyeshadow primer to in intensify your eyeshadows. Or you can use it as eyeliner. It's just up to you. But I like that. I like these. These are my newest favorite thick eyeliner pencils. Okay. A few more eyeliners that I like is the Believe Beauty Metallic. Metallic, y'all. Liquid eyeliners. I like it because they're metallic. Okay, I got one in black, one in brown. And I like it because when I put it on, it's metallic. So it has a shine. It's not matte, but I'm just into the glowy makeup, the glowy type of look on my eyes. It's just so beautiful and soft and romantic in my opinion. So I like that shine because it's a metallic so for these to be liners i love these and once again it's by the believe beauty metallic liquid eyeliner so that's what it's called so anyways i love those because once again they shine they shine so it gives like this soft look and that's what i'm all about these days now i do have this believe beauty long lasting eyeliner now this is not shiny this is what i have on today it is metallic not metallic but matte but it's easy to blend so if i want to use this on my lash line and then if i want to smudge it or create a smudgy type of liner look this will move and shift like watch that see what i'm saying that made that longer and then i can redo it and it'll get just you know you can Move it around a little bit because sometimes with wing liner, y'all know I'm not the best with it. So, um, with this liner, I'm able to like fix it, like if it's not you know the way I want it to be because I can always add a little bit more product, 
it's not right, I can fix it by just using my finger there and then just cleaning it up just like that. So I love this liner. So this is by Believe Beauty. It is the um, Long Lasting Eyeliner. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Can't recommend can't recommend that enough. That's what I was trying to say. Alright, so this pencil right here goes in with the mascara. This was one of the eyeliners, the liquid liners. It's by Lamila. So that um, mascara is by the brand Lamila, which is these uh, glossy or these glossy uh, shimmer products that I showed y'all that is top of my favorite list okay so this is the liquid liner and look how long that tip is so this is so easy to create a wing so fast and even create a very nice precise wing I did not know that I needed a liner tip that's that long in order for me to create a more neat or a a neat eyeliner line okay because y'all know mine is never neat but I realized that I have to get a liner with a tip like that okay very sharp straight and long so all I have to do is just do a little minimum amount of pressure on the side here and just just one little small line and then I have it like that so neat so fast and easy so yeah this is one of my favorite eyeliner pencils um it's a liquid eyeliner but i love it and then i like this la colors gel eyeliner this is very nice i love how dark and intense this is but this is not matte this is like really moisturizing it's very, very moisturized. Like, look at that. But I like that because anytime I want to use this and just kind of use a brush to, to just go over the line to make it softer, this is the liner to go for. So, I like it. It's a gel eyeliner by LA Colors. Very inexpensive. It's one of my favorites as well. So, I recommend that. And then y'all know Epilence. Oh my goodness. I've, I've used this so many times. Epilence gel liner. Love it. I love the tip. But see how shorter that one is versus the Lamila um, eyeliner. But this one here I like to use when I want to get close to my lash line. Whenever I want to coat my lash line really good and get it real neat, I like this one. So, yeah. Love this one, as y'all know. Y'all know I love uh, Epilence. Epilence is one of my favorites, okay? One of my favorites uh, liquid liners. All right, so a few more makeup products, y'all, and then we're going to get into fashion, and we're going to try to do this really quick. So my favorite um, contour palettes have been the Miss Rose Professional Makeup Palettes. I have one and two the shade two uh shade one the bronzer is just a tad bit deeper than the shade two but i like them both because i can set my face or my t-zone with the lighter powder and even my under eyes if i want to brighten up my under eyes and then the bronzer i just use to bronze up with or whatnot love these and i like it because i can use the bronzer into my crease and use the highlighter on my um lid if i want to for a fast easy quick makeup type of look and also i can use the bronzer to do my brows so i can use one palette and do my entire face and get done so these are really nice love this brand i've been using this brand from the day i started doing makeup looks and hey i love it i got both of the shades that was available it's shade one and shade two so love those really nice pigmented and the bronzer is so beautiful like it's like the perfect type of bronzer that i like to use okay i don't like the gray tones i like the warm tones so that's just me but i'm just saying that's what i like uh, another bronzer 
uh, contour duo uh, type of product is the NK New York. I love this one. Y'all know, I think I showed it to y'all over here. I love this one. Uh, this is nice when I want to do a really, really nice, bold, bronze look. Or if I need a quick eyeshadow, I just grab my eyeshadow uh, brush, put a little bit on, put the bronzer into the crease. Or if I need to do my brows really quick, I grab this product. So this is just one of those same type of products that I just showed y'all, but... Uh, I like this one too so this one is very good and this one actually gives a very nice bronzy look like this one is gorgeous I love NK New York products it's one of my favorites and then I have this dupe product here of the Dior backstage um, contour palette I just got this one and let me tell you I love it as you can see, it has the writing in there, but it's not NK New. Uh, it's not NK New York. It's not <laughs> the Dior. Um, it's just a dupe product, and I love this because a lot of times I use the pink brush blush. I use the pink blush to put on, and it's very soft. Today I use the bronzer just to add that little extra glow here, and it's like a bronzy tone that's what i use for blush today so everything looks so natural and so like a natural bronzy soft bronzy look today and i really like it and so um yeah i like the fact that these are actually a bronzer there's a bronzer but it's like i would say it's more like a highlighter as you can see here it's more like a highlighter so I have highlighters and one blush in my opinion and then just one powder no it's it's a highlighter so I got more highlighters than anything even this blush tone that's pink is a highlighter so I feel like this entire palette is a highlighter but you can use it on the cheeks as blush and that's the thing about the Dior backstage contour um, palettes is that they do have a nice shine right so yeah this is a dupe product and I'm happy to have it okay because it is just like the Dior palette and I'm happy to have it okay so the next favorites is just a few of my clothing pieces that I've worn whether it's been to just go out and do whatever I have to do um, or whatever but I have a few pieces that I'm going to show y'all um, so one of the pieces that I've been liking is this here I've been loving this loose um, shirts like this or blouses like this because right now it's starting to get cool so I can always put on a long sleeve top underneath this or if not a turtleneck underneath it if I really want to. But I doubt I'll put a turtleneck on right now. But you get my point. Like I can wear something with a collar or a button up shirt underneath this if I really want to. And I love how loose this is and it comes down to this detail here that kind of, what is it, kind of tightens up around the uh, waist and I've showed this on my Shula Shemay channel but it fits like this and it gets tighter it's sort of like a skirt let me get back a little bit it's sort of like a skirt but it's it's a top uh, you could wear it as a skirt I did on my Shula Shemay channel but I think it's pretty when you put a pair of leggings underneath it so I really like this top. I love the um, the detail. It's sort of like a Greek type of detail here in the front. As you see, it looks like a skirt, but it's sort of like a Greek style blouse. So I really like it. I would love to have this in many different colors. This is the length of it. And so, yeah. So I love this blouse with a pair of leggings. And I'll show you the leggings that I wore with this. Um, my favorite pair of leggings. But I love the 
what is this? This is the wrist area. I love how long this material is because you can fold this backwards if you want to or you can leave it down like that. I like it like this. I like that detail and I know it's wrinkly but y'all I love this top. This is what it looks like in the back. Um, very very pretty. Nice unique top for a pair of nice tight leggings. You know what I'm just talking about? Like for instance these right here. Um, been loving these because I've been wearing these okay with some of the most amazing uh tops that i got from shein this is a top i got from shein and i love it and these leggings are from shein but they are very see-through and i say you know what i can't wear these with a like a shorter type of sweater i would have to wear like longer sweaters or blouses in order to wear these leggings because they are so see-through but they fit so comfortable and so they look like this it's got this detail in the front fits the waist just perfectly look at that detail like that is so pretty right there by the waist and then at the leg part you've got like this opening split by your ankle and it looks so pretty when you put them on and then you put on a nice pair of boots or something um now that it's colder like put a pair of boots on it even with a pair of sneakers it looks good but i think with boots something a little bit dressier it looks really really pretty with a pair of boots and uh, i love that detail because it opens up right there by your ankle part and it looks so nice because these fit just right and so, yeah, I love these tights. And so, with that top that I just showed you, and this will look good. But, and I got this, well, before I tell you the other items, I did get these from Shein. But I did wear these with this sweater dress. And I love sweater dresses. I've always been a fan of sweater dresses. It goes all the way back to when I was in school. I love sweater dresses. Because you don't have to always wear it as a dress. You can wear sweater dresses as sweaters. You add on a pair of tights and then it becomes a top, a sweater. So with these um, tights here, I wore this sweater dress that I absolutely adore from Shein. And it's like this nice nude or beige tone um sweater here and this is one that i showed as a dress on my sheila shimei channel but it has this high split and i love this with the tights because the split opened up on the side with the tights and it looks so cute and stylish um i loved it as a top but it was long now but it looked really good with a pair of tight fitting or with fitting tights that fit very well and this opening up here the split and plus the split by the ankles on the um, tights was just amazing together so I like the combination it looked cute and yeah I like this so these are some of my favorites okay not all of my favorites but some of my favorites uh, fashion items now I have a few more I'm going to show you I guess I'll go ahead and show you uh, this favorite sort of like a bralette type of thing um, I love this indoors rather than outdoors because it, it can be a little see through depending on the top that I put on so I like to wear it inside this is very comfortable um, I got this top I think I got this one from I don't know if it was Tamu or was it um, Shein. I can't remember, but y'all, I got it from one of them. And this is so comfortable. I got two of them. I got this one and then I got a white one. This is the, wait a minute. It's, yeah, this is the one that's sort of like a taupe color. And so this is so comfortable. Underneath, you can wear this underneath uh, some of your like thinner type tops that I'm about to show you here in a minute so yeah there's some uh, th 
these really work underneath certain tops and I'm going to show you a top that this would look good underneath however I would have to put some some cover up in the front because it is a bit sheer so that's why I said this is better to wear indoors when you just have on your lounge wears type of clothing or whatnot but I love this little simple uh, bralette it's very simple but it's very nice so yeah love that and then I got this right here this has become one of my favorite favorite one piece top I thought I could never wear a top like this because I am big busted but y'all I found one and this is like PU leather this is from Fashion Nova and y'all this is the way the top looks on the on the top okay on the top part of the top okay it is V cut and it's got a lot of support okay Right here on the top, it has the little sticky um, adhesive stuff there. And then you got this V-cut. And yes, it stays in place. I have already worn it. It is absolutely amazing. I thought I could never find a top like this. So now I have found one. And I wish they had other shades, tones. I just have to look back on there and see. This is so pretty to slip on. Whether you put it on underneath a sweater or a cardigan or a jersey top or something or whether you put it on and actually dress it up with a pair of jeans and a blazer or whatnot y'all know one pieces are excellent for that and it's high cut around the leg area i really really like this it's one of my favorite tops and i thought i put this in my favorite because I love that one piece top. Now here is a top that I was talking about with that um, bralette top. This is also a top from Fashion Nova that I got. It's see through but I can see myself uh, fixing this so many ways. Uh, when it gets a little bit colder I could add on a long sleeve little crop top underneath this. It is very sheer but it has this what is this? It's not. It's like a collar, but it's not a collar. Whatever you call this. It's like, y'all know what it's called. But anyways, you got this right here. So, it's perfect for this type of weather. I think fall time. But, of course, you have to put something underneath it. Whether it be a bralette, like I showed y'all a minute ago. The bralette here, you know. You can put something like that underneath it. Or you can... Put on your regular bra and put on a long sleeve top underneath it. Or you might could put a thin like cashmere sweater underneath it um, that goes off the shoulders, you know, type of look. I think that will look so cute like a off the shoulder top. And then you put this on top of it and I think it will be really, really pretty. But I love this. And this is the design on it, y'all. I got it from Fashion Nova. Like, this is the detail. If you can see that. It's really, really cute. And I like it. Because I know that you can wear this so many ways. And it is a one piece, as you can see. So, I really like it. I've worn it one time. But I'm going to fix it up and wear it some other times. You know, like with some, like I said, like some off the shoulder type of tops put one of those on and then put that on top of it once it gets really really cold out yes so the other item that I have is one that a lot of people complimented me for and I know that it has flowers on it so it's really going to be really really nice when it gets back to springtime okay but i wore this in the summer a few times i got a lot of compliments this is a maxi skirt from fashion nova that and i love this like it has like that old school type of pattern look this is what it looks like sort of got a little ruffle type of look just different pattern there and it does have a slip in it and it is a maxi skirt like 
It is so, so pretty. Let me show y'all. I have to stand up and show y'all this one. Like, this is... You're still not going to be able to see it. But this is so pretty with a nice top. And I wore it with a casual top, though. Like a regular casual top. And it was still pretty. I got a lot of compliments, but this is what it looks like. This is how long it is. It's very long. It's a maxi skirt, okay? And it's just have the most beautiful, like patterns on it and I love it and I love the fact that it does come with a slip in it so you don't have to worry about putting a slip underneath it but it is very very pretty and so soft and feminine it's very feminine look okay it's a feminine look that I love and I think it's very very cute so I thought I, thought I would go ahead and put that in there because I did wear that a few times. I think I've worn it probably twice. <laughs> That's about it. Because I don't want to wear it too much. Because I know how I am. If I get to wearing something all the time. I end up staining it or whatnot. But y'all that is my favorites. That is some of my favorites. There's a lot more favorites that I have. But that is some of my favorites. And I thought I would share it with y'all. So yeah you guys. I really enjoy creating this video. I'm sorry that this video is so long. But y'all that's my favorites. I love these items. And I can't get enough of these items. I look forward to buying some more lights. Y'all know I love some sweater dresses y'all know I gotta get me some sweater dresses I love sweaters as well now so I'm starting I'm gonna go into my um boxes because I had boxed up a lot of my things um I gotta get my sweaters out because I love a nice sweater or a jersey top in the when it gets cold I like something simple I don't like to wear a whole lot of coats I mean, I used to like coats, but I'm just not into coats as much anymore. I like just, like, put me on a thick sweater, a, a jersey top or whatnot, and put me on a pair of blue jeans or some uh, leggings or something and some nice boots. That's what I usually like to wear, so I've got to go through there and get my sweaters out and a few more other things that is in there but i do have to wear this one coat that i didn't get to wear too much because i bought it as the weather was changing last year to this year so yeah i gotta bring that jacket out and y'all probably can remember it's that pu leather one with the fuzzy stuff on the 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 wrist area and around the neck area, a lot of y'all complimented me and I got so many uh, views on my shorts for that coat. So I'm going to get that coat out because I y'all, it's starting to get cool out here now. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. Early in the morning, it's cool. Late in, the, I wouldn't even say late in the evening. I said about... Um, five o'clock five or six o'clock it is cold so if i'm going out i'm gonna need a coat or something on so i need to yeah i need to go through my things but y'all i thought i'd just show y'all these items these are some of my favorites i hope y'all enjoy this video and yeah i'm sorry y'all i'm gonna start putting on me or leave on my tops i know that this, this is closed but you know i'm gonna start keeping on my shirts because i feel like Girl, you just look like you just got up or whatnot. But then you can tell I've been up, though, with the makeup uh, on and all that. But still, you know, I'm going to get things in order, y'all. It's just, i just been doing so much. And I just take a video whichever way. At least y'all get to see me when I'm relaxed. This is, this is what I look like when I'm relaxed. This is it right here. <laughs> So, I'm just keeping it real, okay? So, anyways, y'all, um, I had fun creating this video, just sharing some of these favorites with y'all, and I thank y'all for watching, and I look forward to a few more videos as I can, okay? As I can create them, and I do want to do, or I will do a skincare video, 
and talk about some of these skincare products and try to put down some information about certain products and how good they are for the skin because I love talking about that okay I love talking about skincare because we can put on makeup but the most important thing is to take care of our skin because trust me you may not realize it right now because you may be younger than me and you're like, well, you know what? I'm just going to put on makeup. Who cares? You know, I just cover up. And let me tell you, if you will get to a point where you do not want to put on makeup. I am 47 years old. And that's when it just kind of hit me where I was just like, you know what? I really don't want to put on makeup. I could go take a shower and get ready to go somewhere and I would absolutely say, you know what, I really don't want to put on no makeup. And it would get to that point. So I'm just saying it's good to take care of your skin. So when you get to that point where you don't want to put on makeup or you just you know, don't have a high interest in putting on makeup, well, you know what? Your skin will look amazing if you take care of it and take care of it really good. So when you get to that point when you don't wear your makeup, you can look at yourself and go, wow, I look good and I don't have makeup on okay so yeah and then if you do put on some makeup you can put on just a little bit of makeup like something like what I use the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF of 46 which is very little uh, makeup it's, it's not even makeup that's skincare maybe with a little bit it's a moisturizer okay so it's skincare and so it just gives a nice glow to the skin as well so it's very light so when you put on something like that you'd be like oh wow dang I look good I don't need to put on anything maybe a little mascara maybe fix my brows a little bit and I'm done, you know. So anyways, you guys, yeah, I'm going to do a skincare video. I'm going to talk about some of the skincare products that I have. And I'm going to try to get the information that I feel like is very important uh, when it pertains to the products that I have. And remember that you just can't get enough of skincare. So that's one of the videos I'm going to do next, okay. And um, I do it as soon as I can, when I can. But that's what I want to do next time. And yeah, y'all, I appreciate all of y'all. And thank all of y'all for watching. And stay tuned for more. And much love, care, kindness, peace, joy, and happiness to everyone. And I will see y'all in my next one. And stay tuned for some more favorites. I'm going to try to remember to do that. And also, you guys, just so you know, one more thing. Uh, my birthday is November the 9th and just know that this girl will be getting a, a, I always do this when it's thanks, what not Thanksgiving, but whenever it's, but Thanksgiving, yes, thank you Lord, <laughs> but when it's Valentine's Day and when it's my birthday, I always get a nice dress. An elegant dress, and I like to show it because I give thanks to the Lord for another birthday. And also, I just love love. And that's why I do that same thing on Valentine's Day. But my birthday is November the 9th, and that will be here in a little while because y'all know how fast time is. So stay tuned because there will be a uh, video and I will most likely post it on my Sheila Shemay channel and who knows what I might do I might think of something else over here too to celebrate my uh, 48th birthday y'all <laughs> yes your girl do I, do I look like it no <laughs> good skin care okay and plus genetics okay but Good skincare is priority, okay? So, yeah. 
All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. I appreciate y'all. Much love, care, kindness, peace, joy, and happiness. And I will see y'all in my next video. And y'all take care of yourselves, okay? Bye-bye.